Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today's video is all about the looks wish list. Things that I personally am looking after this season. So if you like my style, then maybe I can give you some ideas if you're wanting to invest in a secret, sneaky luxury purchase. I'm hoping this may help you out. I also want a few of these things myself, so I'm hoping this video doesn't sell them out. <laughs> Save some for me, please. <laughs> so first up, we have the Jimmy Shoe boots. You have no idea how long I have wanted a pair of these. There is a specific pair that I am after, but sadly, I think they are discontinued. But if anybody knows where I can get my hands on a pair of the ones with the logo on, please do let me know. However, Jimmy Shoe at the moment do a plain black alternative. It has a tiny logo on the heel, but very discreet. So if you're a more of a discreet kind of woman, this is such a great investment. I just think whenever I see them, they just look so great with any outfit. And I'm tempted to just buy the one that's plain black. <laughs> Actually, in the long run, it, I'd probably get more wear out of this one. I just love the shape of the Jimmy Shoe boot. I think they're beautiful. I think they are iconic and last so long. Um, yeah, <laughs> I might have to buy myself a pair. Second on my list is these Louis Vuitton sunglasses. I saw and tried these on in Paris and I went back to get them the next day with my passport because you have to have your passport for tax reasons and they had gone. I was so upset. They are not online anymore but I do believe they are in the shops. I just love these. You have to be careful, there's two versions. There's a smaller aviator and a larger aviator. I specifically enjoy the larger version, but I just love them. I think they're so bougie and I have had my eye on them for so long. I love an aviator shade. I think they look so cool. And like when I do my street style walking videos, I always have aviators on, you might notice. I just think they're such, they're just a me vibe. Um, so yeah. I love these, don't sell them out because I am after a pair. <laughs> so whilst we're talking about Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton is such a favorite brand of mine. I think it like aligns with my style really, really well. Lots of intricate detailing. I just love the like beauty and artwork that goes into it. So I wanted to talk about their fashion jewelry. I have got my eye on two pieces and I'm hoping Santa <laughs> might bring me a boyfriend and these for Christmas. That would be great. <laughs> So it's the neck, this necklace right here, I just think is so stunning. I really want it. And also to match, kind of want the rings to go with it. I just think for me, like the chunky jewelry vibe because it just doesn't sit well with my figure, my silhouette. I just love dainty, beautiful, like intricate jewelry. I think it suits me much better. So these are a gorgeous pair of earrings. I just love like detail that goes into stuff, like the artistry and like, that's what I love about fashions. How beautiful this looks on the ear. So stunning. Okay, number four I have in front of me, but I'm gonna mention two different tote bags that I love. Um, this is the Fendi tote. How gorgeous is that? I am a big bag lover. In my designer handbag collection, I really don't opt for small bags just because I never really use them, except to go on that one night out a year, <laughs> which I really don't go on. Um, I love chucking everything into a bag. I carry about three cameras with me at all times, my makeup, my hair weave, everything is in that handbag. <laughs> so I just like, small handbags, if I'm gonna invest, I want one that I'm gonna use all the time. And I just love tote bags. This is a gorgeous one I picked up from Fendi. I'll do some close-ups here. But there's also another one that I love as well, which I equally I think is great. It's the Louis Vuitton one. They do it in so many colors. And every time I see someone wearing this, I'm like, oh, I just love it. It's so, so gorgeous. So these are two tote bags that I'm loving. So if you're in the market for a tote bag, Check them out. Okay, let's talk about Paris, Texas. My favorite boot brands are Jimmy Shoe and Paris, Texas. And these are my latest babies. I just love the shape of the Paris, Texas boot. Um, they are absolutely stunning. I love a straight leg boot that comes up quite high. And I think they just really, really make a gorgeous shape. So. If you're like me and you like my style, definitely check out Jimmy Shoe and Paris, Texas for your boots. So when it comes to luxury items, boots are something that I like to invest in just because I 
know from pre like experience that my high street boots last like one year my designer boots last a lifetime and even when like the heel starts to go on them the structure of the boot never like worse you just replace the heel and they're as brand new as you bought them so i really noticed the difference so i'm going to show you a collection of boots black boots in particular because i find i get the wear out them in the most that you might like if you like my style so we have Louis Vuitton wedges. I love a wedge boot. I feel like they're such a vibe. So these ones are from Louis Vuitton. There's a Valentino knee-high boot, which I love. Very simple logo and just a really gorgeous kind of knee over the knee boot. I also saw these boots all over Instagram last year and they look such a vibe. So I really need to try them. They're from the brand Toten Knee. I really need to learn how to pronounce this. Is that right? because I've started to really enjoy the brand. Every time I'm like, oh, that's nice. It's always from this brand. Totemi, totemi, totemi. Please let me know in the comments down below. Um, these are a gorgeous pair of flat boots. Very great, very chic vibe going on. So these are from Valentino. I love the little bit of studded detail on there. I hadn't seen that in a boot before, so that was a really nice effect. Jimmy Shoe also do this beautiful boot in like a cream color, absolutely stunning with this detail around them. I think Zara actually, I've seen a dupe of this on Zara, so check out Zara if you want a dupe. So these are such a vibe at the moment, like the on-trend platform. I personally probably wouldn't invest in them because I think they're a bit of a trend piece, but some of you might like these because they're beautiful. I, I would totally wear them. I just don't know whether they'd last or not, um, but they are such a vibe. I thought I'd just throw them in here. So these are gorgeous. These are like a cream ivory color. I just loved like the detail, the cutout detail in them. They're from a brand called Roger Vivier. Again, I'm saying this right. <laughs> from the Outnet, so a bit more reasonable than the Jimmy Shoe kind of price points. Also from the Outnet are a gorgeous pair of Versace flat over the knee boots. I'm a massive lover of a black over the knee boot for winter. Absolutely love them. So I wanted to mention the brand Valentino. It's one of my favorites. I love this bag right here. It's the Roman stud tote bag, but it comes in so many colors. They do this like white and black one, which is so, so cute. I just love the shoulder strap on it as well. There is another bag which I was obsessed with and I ordered it, it came. And I don't know what it was. The chain on it was just a bit too yellowy. I don't know if it was just the one I got because it didn't look like that when I went to the shop and store, but the chain was like really yellow, yellowy. Um, and I think that happens on some of the Valentino bags. So this rock, the Rockstar little tote wasn't like that, but some of the, some of the Valentino stuff has like this orangey undertone to like the, the gold. Does that make sense? So I just wish they'd lighten their gold a little bit because it's a little bit brassy. Um, but the shape of this bag is so gorgeous. Maybe it was because I got the cream one that it was setting it off wrong. So maybe it would look better in the black. But I'm going to go in store and have a little look because I love this bag. I thought it would be a really cute like going out bag, that bag that I didn't have. <laughs> so Valentino as well do the most beautiful studded heels. I love these, they are so gorgeous. They come in nudes as well. I just, I love like a little bit of like detail on stuff. I think it's so gorgeous. And I've seen these on so many people and every time I'm like, oh my God, they're those shoes. Like they really catch my eye. Um, I just love, 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 love them. I think they make a really nice like evening shoe. So yeah, I might have to get them. Santa. Okay, let's talk about a big practical coat. This designer is someone that I just, every time I see their Instagram, I'm like, it's just gorgeous. Ralph Lauren has the most beautiful autumn winter range. It is so beautiful. Like this chilling coat is just a bit of me. Like, oh, love this with like aviator sunglasses. So cool, like such a cool vibe. But also they do this kind of like military, like vibe as well, the just vibe of Ralph Lauren at the moment is so, so good. I'll put a few of my favorite looks here because it's definitely one that like I would try and like recreate as well on the high street or invest in like a key piece. So definitely if you're looking for like clothes, check Ralph Lauren out, it's such a vibe for this time of year. So last but not least, let's talk about knitwear. I'm gonna go back to the brand Totemi. I really wish I'd Googled how to pronounce that name before I did this video because I've mentioned them a lot. <laughs> I really hope I'm saying it right. So they have the most beautiful like wool 
outerwear, scarves, and I really love this vibe. I've seen it on Instagram on a few people. I just think it's such a chic look. Like, it looks so warm. So, so warm and snuggly. And I think it's so, like, I find it designing knitwear lasts a lifetime. I'm so sick of like buying high street jumpers. I put them in the wash and then I throw them out because they're a rag. So investing in knitwear sometimes can be more sustainable and cost effective in the long run. And actually, totem me, really I'm saying that right, is not that expensive for the luxury market. So it is a lower price point in the luxury market. So definitely check them out if you're looking at that kind of range. So guys, I hoped I helped you get some ideas for a sneaky investment this time of year. And let me know if I have missed anything and there's something that you are looking after and you think I would love as well. Please let me know in the comments down below. And I might do this quite often because honestly, I keep Pinterest boards of this kind of thing. <laughs> And they kind of go to waste, so I might as well share them with you guys. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around. It really helps us out as well. If you like, comment, like, <laughs> I don't know. And if you want to watch one of my high street hauls, if you like my style, definitely check out this H&M haul I have just put live.